Hey everyone, Flying Dutchie here and welcome to another EU Foreign! It has been a while and I decided to do somewhat smaller run this time as Ethiopia. So it's gonna be a run until the new update I guess, which will be after the summer. And uh, this is gonna be a medium, maybe even a long run because the uh, goal here is to get a Prester John achievement and therefore we have to own cores on Alexandria, Antioch and Constantinople as Coptic Ethiopia. Of course we are Coptic as you can see and we have some special uh, religious blessings and uh, holy sites that sign over here. So yeah, we are gonna play as uh, Ethiopia here and make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell next to it and like the video since this is the first video of a series that would uh, give me more attention to this video and this let's play series. So the starting position of Ethiopia. Uh, we are of course in the Ethiopian trade node. Uh, we, do, we own one big center, a market town here in our capital of Gondor. There's one here in Saba and that's it for the Ethiopian. Uh, uh, node but we will expand to the Gulf of Aden uh, there are a lot of centers here and we want to get our trade from this node it's richer than ours and at the moment this is the only node we can actually reach so we can only collect trade here you can see it in the trade tab here we cannot go to the Gulf of Aden it is not in our range so trade wise we can't do anything else uh, let's go over our overview so we have uh, a very good uh, king, I think. Is it the king? I guess it's a king. 655, missionary strength plus one, more legitimacy, and in a couple of years he gets another trade. And our heir sucks. It's a one to one So the first thing I'm going to do is make this heir into a general. Because maybe he will die. And we are fine with him dying. Because he is not good. So that's the government tab here. I will not focus on any monarch points. We have no money to afford an advisor, so I'm not going to do that at the beginning. Uh, we are already an empire. And we accept all the cultures in our uh, group here. So all of these colors are accepted cultures. And we will try to expand to all of these as quickly as we can. Um, rivals. We can have Adal and Ajuran as our rivals. That sounds great to me so we'll do that uh, nothing here we can do uh, the estates we will do all the options I do normally seek support hire you hire you and get 150 points call a diet and get 150 points here we have two vessels Hadia and Damod which are this orange country and this bright yellow country and I will tell them that they can claim everything around them and we are gonna vessel feed it to them and I am going to do something in this run I will not border the Mamluks if you are bordering the Mamluks there's a big chance they are going to attack you so I'm not gonna do that uh, we have to pick our first blessing. We don't need legitimacy, we don't need the manpower. I think I'm going for the missionary strength in the beginning so we can convert our land. Because we have some uh, Jewish land here and we are surrounded with Sunni land so. And then we can start converting everything to Coptic. Coptic gives uh, more tolerance of our faith and more fort defense. Not really that, that great. Let me. Uh, Turn this music a bit more down. It's really loud. There we go. Okay. I think we did everything in the beginning. Yeah, we have to kill the uh, Is Israel separatists. I don't know why they are called that way, but apparently they are. I will go to stability 1 so we can convert a bit quicker. And uh, I'm going to counter the rebels here. And it's time to start the game. Um, I can also... Marry one of my vessels. The other one is not uh, Coptic, so we cannot marry him. The Holy Heart of Ethiopia, so we get a achievement. I mean, uh, prestige. 
And there we go. Let's fight the rebels here. There we go. And you have to unsiege that. And then we can start planning our expansion. So the first thing we need to do is get a claim here. So we will build a spy network. Um, do you have any allies? Makuria. Hmm. Maybe we should not expand that way. Uh, but yeah, we, it's the only part we can get a good claim on. I think I'm not going to border the Mamluks. I think that's a very good strategy. Let's improve over there. Now we need to wait for a claim so we can go to speed 4. <clears throat> there we go. Um, I'm gonna remove the fort. It costs too much money. We are losing money like crazy at the moment. Oh, not anymore. That's great. Ajuran got a diplomatic insult. Uh, let's actually embargo our rifles. We get some more power projection from it. At all. And Ajuran. I guess they are also allied. No. Really? There we go. Let's keep improving with our vessels here. Uh, we have gold in our region. They are going to be occupied by uh, Damod, both of them. And we will try to integrate them as quickly as we can. So we can make use of our gold income. We have no gold at the moment. Only two gold mines here. Uh, maybe we should get an alliance. Who wants to be my ally? Oh no. No one. No one that is going to be helpful. I mean the Mamluks are <clears throat> not liking us because of our different religion. They are uh, rivaled with Ak Kuyumlu. So as long as we are threatened by them. We might be able to do something. Helen of Ethiopia. Oh, we got a new consort. And we get lots of points from, from it. Thank you. So we need to wait for 20 points. Then we can claim on this province. And then we can go to uh, play our first war. Who are you allied to? Aden, Magra, Yemen, and Bea. So many al allies. Not good for me. But if I attack Bea only, then I can put Adal in a single war. So that's also very strategic to do, I think. But yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, Go to war here. Yeah, well, maybe. Because the Mamluks don't like like me to border them. They could declare war on me and then the run is over. But it's random. That's the question. Uh, we can get more government reform progress or stability. Well, give me the stability. It's way better. No, I don't need any expedition. I will try to let my vessels do the, the work here. So we can bring you home. And uh, you, and then we can claim the province here. And this one. And then we can go to war, let's go to speed 3. And I will tell my vessels that they can be aggressive. There we go. They should now go and... Yeah, they are going to kill it. That's great. Dambot is uh, claiming everything around him. So we can... When we completed this uh, siege, we can go to the next one. Uh, should we do it now or not? Question. 
I mean, I can help them a little bit, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take care of this one. Prefer to keep my manpower for bigger wars. Wait. Kaffa? Oh. Kaffa is doing stuff. They are sieging our goal here. That's annoying. Can we declare you? No. Not yet. Always those one rolls. It's so, so terrible. Should be a stack wipe. Yes. And now my vessels will take care of the siege and I don't have to spend my manpower on it. So that's great. Uh, maybe we should start a uh, spy network here. I mean, they have four allies. That's going to be really hard for us to, to beat. We, we need allies on our own. I mean, who dislikes Yemen? Only those smaller nations. So we will not get the siege, unfortunately. That's really, really unfortunate, because Kaffa is being annoying. When we declare on Kaffa, we have to fight Maedri Badri here. I mean, I would love to take the land myself, but we are then bordering the Mamluks, and they will become unhappy. That's what, what the problem is. They, they should uh, get uh, kicked out by the Ottomans first. Before we can do something. Let's go to speed 4 again. There's nothing we can do at the moment. Waiting for my vessels to claim the land. Yeah, there we go. The province is now owned by Kaffa. Which is really annoying. They declared the war first. Uh, let me select the uh, best guess here, so we get messages from all the important stuff around us. Okay, now I can give... What? What? There are no war... El I don't understand this. I want to give this province to Damod, and I can't do it? Is the game bugged suddenly? What is going on? What is going on, game? What is the problem now? Hello? He wants it. The war goal was it to give it to him, and I cannot transfer it to him. What is this bullshit? What is going on? Now I have to pay Diplo points because I cannot click the button. What? Hello? Let me click the button. Game. Why are you doing this to me? Jesus. Super annoying. Unbelievable. Now I had to pay Diplo points for nothing. Because of a game bug. Oh, and Kava is going on a rampage. He is getting the rest of it as well now. Um, well, then we have to declare on him right now. I will take care of the Maedri Badri army there and then we should be good to go. Uh, let's get some claims. If someone can tell me what happened here in the reaction step, I have 
No idea. So we are converting more land to Coptic. If only one ally, right? Yes, okay. Maybe I should make him a vessel or something. There we go, that's a stack wipe, level 1 fort, so nothing serious. We can just uh, siege everything. Hopefully we can get him out of the war. Oh, you can reach that... That uh, province with a fort? Why? Shouldn't I be blocked to go here? Well, apparently not. I should keep uh, improving with my vessel so we can integrate him. We have Hadiya here and... Yeah. Weird Dabot that I could not transfer the province to. Tell me what I did wrong there. I don't know. I really don't know. So Kava took everything in the south. Oh, are you going to attack my army here? Please no. We have better military technology, so more land morale, more military tactics. We are now way stronger. And we get a bit of innovativeness. So all the power costs go down. A tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. He's gonna siege in the middle of my land. And he's running away again. What is he doing? Hello. Can I get there first? No. Okay, we got everything of Medri Badri here. So let's see what we can do with him. I don't know if I want to border the Mamluks though. Last time I did a test run we got uh, killed by the Mamluks. But what if I make it a vessel? <sighs> you know what, I'm just gonna take it. If the run goes, that goes dead by this, then it goes dead, right? It's my land. I'm gonna make it a core. At the moment it's 75 autonomy because it's not a core, so we don't get any taxation and production money from it. And the Mamluks are now gonna hate us. Let's improve our relations with them. Before it's too late. Okay, we got everything here. And now I can give it to Damod. I don't understand this game. I'm gonna give everything to my vessel. Uh, I think we can now reach the other trade node now. Yes, so we can transfer trade or collect trade. Uh, I think I am just gonna go and collect here. Well, let's see what's better. We now make 0.5 ducats with trade, 0.52, but you are transferring to Zanzibar, you oh, this game, you have to transfer to my Alexandria, what, there is no node to Ethiopia, oh my god, well, then you can only collect, we cannot transfer the trade power. There we go, this will go to uh, Hadia and this one as well. A lot of coffee here as well. There's uh, coffee, there are some slaves here, gold, so we can peace out. We need a diplomat for that. You have to pay and they don't accept. They are crazy. We need to wait one more monthly tick before we can peace out, I guess. We have a plague. We can lose money or get local autonomy. Let's lose a bit of money, that's fine. 
I will lower my army maintenance so we make more money a month. Because we will not be at war anymore. And there we go. Kaffa will join the coalition, but there is no Kaffa anymore. And there we go. Two vessels we can integrate. And now we have to look for a war against Adal. Yes. Let's improve with my vessels again. Do you uh, hate me now? Hmm, maybe. They are also rivaled by the Ottomans. And there we go, we have revolts. Let's raise the army maintenance again. Because we need to take care of it. I'm gonna build a couple more troops. We can have 20,000, that is our force limit. Which is uh, alright. At the moment, 20. It's not, it's not weak at all. In the beginning of a game. Kava Separatists, we need to kill those as well. We can integrate our vessels in uh, 1454. So not yet. Can I reach that in time? No. Nope. Well, then I will just firstly uh, unseage this land. And wait for what they are gonna... They are Israeli separatists, so they should go to the Jewish province. So they should attack me in the highlands. Then I have the uh, bonus of the terrain. In a couple of months they should attack me there. They are going to Axum. Really? Is that also Jewish? No. Will they go even more north then? I will attack them in the desert if they go there. I hope they will attack me. Yes, they are attacking me. So, times of need. Uh, military aid. Manpower or prestige. Let's get a bit more prestige. There we go. Yes, so they have minus two rolls. We should win this. We have better... Tactics, we have higher uh, military technology, so should be ours, and it is. Let's uh, split our army in half before it becomes too big and gets attrition. And let's go here. We have a head of time bonus, more production, and more innovativeness. And you have to help here. Kill the Kaffa separatists. So, we have the Renaissance spreading. It's the next institution for the people that don't know this game. <coughs> we already have feudalism. And now we have renaissance. It's not spreading. And why is it not spreading? Well. Because we have to have nearby province with renaissance. The only way to get renaissance is to develop our own province. And we will do this. But not right now. We will uh, spend the points when we have to. That can take a couple of times. Because we have to firstly tech up. Maybe when we have five years uh, penalty. <coughs> we will um, actually get renaissance. Alright, we don't need more claims. I'm sorry for my voice, it's going down. Holy shit. <clears throat> so let's get rid of the Jewish uh, provinces we have in our uh, country. Maybe that will stop the rebels from uh, spawning. Yes, now the rebels are coming to me. The... I... Itinerant capital. I've never seen that word before. Uh, we will go for the stability, I think. Yes. So we have plus three stability, the highest we can. Should be very good for our cause here. Okay, that is done. Now we can unseize the province there. We can lower the maintenance, so we make money again. Two ducats a month. And we don't even have our gold mines yet. 
All right, that should be it for now. Just keep the money coming in. It's totally fine. And we have plus 68 relations with the uh, Memlucks here. They really don't like us. Hmm. Can we get other allies at the moment? We can get these two against Adal. Maybe I should. I think I will. Oh, now you don't like me anymore. Oops. Can I improve this so, I, so they want my alliance? I think I can. Let's try it. We can go the next technology. We still have no penalty, so... I will go to level 5. And then we will look for the renaissance. Not earlier. So the next blessing... We need to get our uh, Alexandria, Antakia, Kasser Ibrim and Yerevan. The closest one is here. Kasir Ibrim. And we definitely want to go there. Um, I will also improve the relations with the uh, Kara Koyunlu. Because they are rivaled with the Memlux, which is good for us. Uh, we don't need any mercantilism in this run, so I will go and take that option. Get our army to the limit. A little bit of revolts uh, in the Maitri Badri territory. Only 4.1. Because they were already Coptic, so it's not bad at all. Are they also part of our culture group? Yes. That's really nice. We don't get any modifiers there. Do we want to get an advisor? Do we have any nice advisors? We have missionary strength guy. Prestige guy. Proof relations and dipo reputation. And land maintenance modifier. That could work. Paying for your army is costing a lot. Minus 10% here would be... Minus 0.5. How expensive are you? 1. So oh, not really helpful then. Let's not use it. Let's wait. Sorry for that noise outside. Some idiots are driving through the street. With their base radio. Okay, we need to wait a couple more years. Then we can start integration. Do you want to be my ally, please? Come on. Aksum. Where's Aksum? Here. We could use this for our development. No, that's too big of a province. Let's not, not do that. We cannot uh, embargo Adal anymore because they are not a valid rival. We have to revoke the embargo. We could rival the Mamluks, but we are not crazy. So we won't. Improve. Uh, come on, be my ally. We can go to war with Adal. Um, not someone else maybe. Oh, Yemen wants to be an ally now. Are you not allied with... Uh, you are also allied with Adal, so that's not gonna work. You're allied with Aden. Mara, Yemen, and Bea. I could go to war with Bea. And drag Adal into a war that way. That is possible. 
Hmm. Well, I will decide that in the next episode, guys. Once again, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing. We are going to 10,000 subscribers. And we are getting closer and closer when I upload, upload this video. So please click the button. And I hope to see you in the next part where we will integrate our vessels and expand further into Ethiopia. I hope to see you there and bye bye.